Hi, welcome to Hardware Reset Info. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your Epson ET1810 to your smartphone. So guys, basically it's very easy to do. Firstly, you should enable your Epson printer. As you can see, in my case, it's enabled. And then we should find in the App Store Epson Smart Application. Epson Smart Panel. Find this app, download and open. Afterwards you will see this screen. So if you don't see the screen you should press the plus button in the right up corner of the screen. Uh, would like to check if your printer is supported, so click no because ET18 and 10 is supported. I'm sure. So then click set up a new product. Make sure your printer is connected and make sure your printer um, you are not connected to the printer with the USB cable. Make sure the USB cable is not connected to your printer right now. Okay, click let's get started. Um, select the product to connect and as you can see my printer is visible right now. If it's not, so just disable your printer, enable your printer again and click ET uh, 18 and 10 series. Yes, I'm sure. Click yes. If you don't have your printer in this list, so make sure your um, Wi-Fi is enabled. You should have uh, enabled the Wi-Fi and you should enable the Bluetooth connection, okay? Unfortunately, this application, uh, don't ask about enabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth if uh, it's disabled. So you should uh, check it uh, before start, okay? Click Proceed to Wi-Fi connection settings. Click Next. Wait a while. Cool. Uh, so cool, click yes, Wi-Fi network password is required, click yes, so as you can see, you should be connected to the Wi-Fi network, your smartphone should be connected to the Wi-Fi network, and uh, then when you click next, you agree to share the password from the Wi-Fi network to your printer, so click Wi-Fi network password is required, click yes, next, 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 again, Did you confirm the password? Uh, click yes. Next. And now you should enter the password from the Wi-Fi network in my case. The password is easy. Click OK. Click yes. Preparing setting. And now you should wait for about two minutes uh, until your printer, uh, pr printer um, so just set up itself. Okay, so, uh, but we can have uh, several features, uh, so, so sorry, several troubles uh, in connection process. So the first possible trouble is when your printer asking for the password. And basically, uh, sometimes it happens and you should check the passwords right here. So here you can find the password from your uh, admin panel. And this password is... Uh, on your sticker, uh, but if you don't know your password um, and if someone customized the password and admin password is not default but custom and you don't, don't know this custom password just because you bought this printer um, from second hand for example, it means that you should uh, perform the hard reset of the printer. You should remove the password. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch our video about it, just because I had this situation and I uh, showed uh, how to fix it. Okay, now click next. And cool, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and bye.
See you.